There are several rules the royal family have to follow, and for the women, one skill they will master over the years is the art of curtsying. When greeting a member of the royal family, men are advised to bow from the neck, while women are suggested to curtsy. A simple handshake may also suffice. However, one little well-wisher took royal greetings to new heights when she met the Catherine, Princess of Wales. During day three of William and Catherine's North American tour, the royal duo concluded their visit to Ottawa, where they followed in the footsteps of a long line of royal couples as they shoveled earth onto tiny saplings as a living memento of their visit. Even in Killer Tabitha Simmons' heels, a chic Catherine Walker dress and groomed, glossy hair, the princess proved she wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty as she led the way, smiling as she took the shovel before her husband and threw soil onto the sapling. Later, Catherine was treated to a curtsy by the three-year-old granddaughter of the Governor-General, David Johnston. Kate Johnston Zemeck has clearly been practicing as she performed the elaborate maneuver in her pretty summer dress. Curtsies are reverential gestures offered by female members of the royal family to the king and queen, twice each day when they meet face to face. In Britain, there is no formal expectation for members of the public to perform the gesture, though many do of their own volition. For her choice this time, from a diplomatic perspective wearing a French-born designer, was very savvy as Catherine and William headed to Montreal the location where the couple was most likely to encounter protesters opposed to the monarchy. From a symbolic standpoint, her dress was a lovely choice, as there are multiple family ties to the designer, who died last year after battling cancer. During the tree planting ceremony, the prince and princess brought joy and comfort to a cancer victim who was recently told he had only 12 weeks to live. In scenes that brought back memories of the prince's mother Diana, the royal newlyweds bent down to speak to wheelchair-bound Terry Joyce, a former computer expert from Ottawa. Terry struggled to his feet and leant against a walking frame as William arrived, but the royal told him to sit down and relax. When she arrived, she shook him warmly by the hand and told him, Let's get you out of the sunlight, Terry. After the couple left, Terry, who lives in the Bruyer Hospice, burst into tears and was comforted by his doctor. He confessed, I was told a week ago I would be meeting them, and I have been looking forward to it ever since. It has been one of the best days of my life. This has given me a tremendous lift. It goes to show that we have a wonderful monarchy, and we really need people like this. During the ceremony, the royal couple planted an eastern hemlock in the shadow of the pin oak, planted by William's parents on June 21, 1983, his first birthday. The native species planted by they will serve as an enduring symbol of the couple's love for 800 years. More than 120 commemorative trees grace the grounds of Riddow Hall. William took a deep breath and looked deep in thought as he was shown the plaque bearing his late mother's name. Later the couple met newlyweds, who married on the same day as them, April 29th this year, as well as couples celebrating their 50th 60th, and even 70th wedding anniversaries. Catherine smiled as Adrienne Chalabois, celebrating 50 years of marriage to her husband Denny, told the Royale, I hope you will be as fortunate as we have been in our marriage. The royal couple looked at each other and replied, We hope so too.